Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Scout Blue and welcome back to another YouTube commentary video. And in this video guys, the squad um, roadmap just got released. So, we're going to be going over that. Also, I just got my new microphone, so this is the first video on my new microphone. But, this video is going out on Friday. So, there will still be videos with the old microphone. I hope this one sounds a lot better. I don't even have a pop filter yet for it, so that probably just sounded really bad. But, just wait on that, it's literally arriving today but i want to get this video out because it was a video i really wanted to make so i hope it sounds a lot better hope you guys enjoy um i want to say one thing before we start i was going through my like youtube studio thing and i clicked on my comments i realized there's so many comments that youtube didn't notify me about and i've been responding to and liking so i'm so sorry about that that feels like so stupid because i've been doing this for like two years now and i just realized that i haven't been responding to like one fourth of all the comments you know i've only been responding to one fourth of all the comments so i'm so sorry about that i'm learning so thank you again for everybody coming along on this crazy ride with me let's get into it so first we just had lash car valley come out we had new two new vehicles and a bunch of different optimization and gameplay type uh changes but in the end of july beta 21 Rally Point is supposed to become a droppable, like, item. Um, infantry is supposed to have a speed adjustment, like a slight speed re reduction, which I don't really know, because you can't really sprint for that long in squad. That's going to be kind of weird. And then a big one is 100-player testing. Right now, it's 80 on a, on a server, so that's a 40 v 40. And I think 100 will just really fill up a lot more of the map. Maybe if they get up to, like, 120, it could be even better, because... I gotta say, there are some really big maps, and there really are some really boring moments where you're just running through the desert, waiting to get into combat. So, I think that's a whole nother fire team, or a whole nother squad they're adding, on each side, which I think will definitely fill up the map even more, just because we have even more combat to be in. And then, during July, in that beta 21, there's supposed to be an update on the SVDM, that Russian Spetnaz sniper rifle, that we've all uh used but really hate so yeah and then during that beta 21 there's also three new vehicles which is the two rus and one uh c av video uh vehicle so it looks like there's going to be some sort of like striker type vehicle um a humvee and then a transport vehicle next in august which is gonna be beta 22 Oh shit, <laughs> they're coming out with the new Felucia map, which is going to be very awesome, because right now in squad, there's just a lot of like, you know, really far away shooting at people type combat. You know, Felucia is just a huge city that's going to have a lot more close quarters, which is really going to switch up the meta of the game, or meta of the map. So I'm very excited for that. That's end of August. And then also, during that release, there's going to be a new Middle Eastern faction called the MEA or Middle Eastern Alliance so that should be pretty interesting then there's gonna be new mechanic tweaks and capture mechanic tweaks helicopter improvements so if like a tail rotor gets shot out you're gonna have less control um tournament game modes which I don't really care about um capturing mechanic tweaks so everything like capture points are all different on how you capture them. Like if you're in a if you're in a helicopter, you can still capture a point. If you're on the ground, if you're in a tank, stuff like that. So they'll fix around with those type of things. And then one big thing with this August um, update is that there's gonna be founder weapon skins, which I don't think I have the founder version, but lots of people do, and there'll be new weapon skins, which would be very cool. And then and then going over everything there. In September, which is quarter four, um, it doesn't really have a beta count on there. But I guess that'd be beta 23. There's going to be new vehicle impact damage, which is going to be more, I guess, area. So you shoot a tire or you shoot a rocket at an engine, it's just going to explode. Or, you know, like different types of effects at what parts you damage. Uh, much like how if you shoot a tank as tracks, it won't be able to move if you, just, if you shoot with a high enough. Um the right you know anti-tank round or missile or you want to call it you know what i mean so like area damage on different vehicles and then 
um, a new gameplay overhaul phase, which pretty much means that how, how Squad loads in is that they have all these different layers to, you know, the, the terrain of the map, to the micro uh, cover, to the buildings, to the vehicles, to the helicopters, to the supplies. It all loads in at once, so if they can condense that, they'll optimize the game a lot better, you'll get more frames, since it's not all loading in at once, it's not all going to your, um, your memory. So, that'd be very, very good for people that want to get into the game, but don't get the best frame rate. And then for content in September, or the end of September, there's going to be new uh, Insurgency Game Mode Overall Phase 1, and new Insurgent Vehicles, which really just look like a bunch of Toyota Tacomas with uh, anti-air guns, mortars, and machine guns on the bat in the beds. So, you guys can definitely put that image in your head, or you can pull up the roadmap as I'm looking through it. Uh, and then I think there's also going to be some sort of Humvee-type vehicle coming in. So, oh, and then also during that September, there's going to be the new Mosin Nagant variants, which I've been waiting for the Mosin Nagant, because that's just such a classic weapon that's been used throughout the ages. So, I'm pretty happy about that. So, next, the end of October, there's going to be having a new map called Operation Anvil. Looks more like a Lashkar Valley-type map with um deserts in between little small towns and villages with a bigger town maybe the main focus point and then during october is the australian fa faction gets added which the australian faction has been worked on by his mod team that also made operation anvil and then they'll have a few other vehicles that go along with like the australian uh faction uh released if that makes any sense so october's Big for the Australian faction. Um, again, we'll have more insurgent game mode overhaul phase 2. Gameplay layer overhaul of phase 2. So, they're going to keep on trying to optimize the game and add more content. Which, it looks freaking great so far. October, we have this much content coming out. That's that's pretty great. And, you know, most games can't keep up with one update a month. So, that's um, very exciting. And then December, the big month. The five year anniversary, which I've only been playing squad for maybe two years now, so I'm basically a noob, and uh, but I've definitely fallen in love with the gameplay. It's really fun. But the five year anniversary, this is when they want to release uh, their beta 1.0, right? Yeah, they're, they're they this is one of the one when they want to officially release. So I think that this content updates can be freaking huge okay so they're gonna have amphibious vehicles which can be really cool a new map called black coast which looks like it's a coastline map so they're gonna need those amphibious vehicles because you're gonna be in the coastline um in the water stuff like that and then another layer overhaul and then a big thing for december is the united states usmc faction is gonna be added which is gonna be great because that's just fucking badass right so that's going to be very cool. I hope there's a lot more new weapons when these factions do arrive, which I think there will be. And then, when that all gets released, we have content for 2021, which isn't that, um, you know, it's a more a little hazy, but they're sneak peeking a, or giving a peek at a new map, not really going to reveal it. And then a new faction name, which is just going as the a placeholder name, which is a placeholder. So, we all know yet, but they're going to keep on overhauling the ui system which i guess that needs to be overhauled i don't know i kind of like it because this is very simple and bare bones which that's how a hardcore game should be um after action report gamepad joystick uh support ultra wide monitor support command resource point system territory control game mode overhaul impact damage impact to pedestrians so a bunch of more gameplay that's for 2021 so that's so far down the road I'm excited for what this next, uh, like, six, five months or so is going to have for squad. Because it's, it's freaking big, okay? And guys, you know, if you're interested in any of that update, definitely subscribe to this channel because you know I'll already be on it. I'll be on it. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Tell me what you think. I think there should be a lot more weapons. And maybe there should be some sort of ranking system. I know that's not something a lot of these games go for but i think that can really show who should be like squad leader who should be commander who should 
do these different roles. I think it just shows, you know, because you get into a game, you're like, who wants to be squad leader? And then they promote the guy who has the least amount of hours, but they don't even know that. So a level system could be a very good thing. That's just one thing I'd be um, not opposed to. So again, if you guys like to definitely drop a like. I hope you guys like the new mic. It sounds great, I think. So yeah, it's not as laggy as my old mic. Um, so yeah, hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.